right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today, we're going to go ahead and do a no-item run um, on one of the new Red Zone stages. Um, so, this fight is against Mecha, Frieza, and King Cold. Now, I would definitely say this, this stage is a little weird because it's like the first stage against Full Power Frieza... Um, I think was it was tough like right like I, I saw a lot of people having trouble with it but it, it definitely it was not like you know cell max Broly or Omega level difficult right now I thought that the next fight after that the second fight here in the wicked bloodline red zone against final form cooler that was pretty tough because that cooler is basically the hardest hitting boss turn one in the game right that EGL cooler in the final form cooler red zone stage um, and then, you know, the actual Final Form Cooler was hitting basically as hard as Omega. Now, this dropped, and it, it, it is just a bit odd because it does seem as though this stage is, like, not weaker than the, um, you know, Red Zone Final Form Cooler and Red Zone uh, Full Power Frieza, but it's, like, significantly weaker. So... We have these Frieza soldiers right here. These guys are, are just not even really impressive at all. Um, I, I think only only this Frieza soldier right here, the first, the AGL one, is the only one that could even super attack, right? So this is like a super easy stage. Um, you basically just lock down this first Frieza soldier, this AGL Frieza soldier, and we don't have anything to worry about. And even this AGL Frieza soldier... His SA damage is 250,000, which is like uh, 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 literally nothing, right? Like the Bojack minions are hitting like 500,000. So it's like they definitely, it seems like, let, let's see what the last couple of stages for the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone look like right at the end of the celebration. We're definitely going to get at least two more, probably three or something like that, right? To make it seven, like the uh, GT edition and the movie edition, right? Um, but it seems like Dokkan, they did push, like, the, the power of events way up, you know, to kind of meet 200% leader skills, and I think they found, like, the sweet spot that they want to be at right now. Um, a lot of these fights are designed in different ways, but, um, it does seem like maybe Dokkan, uh, they overrate, um, King Cold's ability in the second fight, it might be what this is, because, again, this... This was easy. Like, once I actually sat down for it, this this took one try, right? Like, this was not tough at all. I'm pretty sure in this run, we have really bad luck, too, against the Mecha Freeze and King Cold phase. I think he just keeps sealing Final Form Cooler over and over and over King Cold, which causes this fight to just go on and on and on because it, we just get completely um, sort of locked down, right? Now, you guys know, the way I like to build uh, LR Cooler's team is we just surround him pretty much with characters that don't easily die. Either supports or characters that are strong defensively around LR Final Form Cooler. And then we let Cooler himself handle all of the damage, right? I feel like it's a very successful strat. Um, even Final Form Cooler himself, depending upon our RNG with 12k super attacks... He can really get to a point where he is not taking damage from big time bosses either, right? He can be very, very, very um, impressive defensively. So that is good, right? Um, okay, now I, I brought EGL Metal Cooler too. Um, Metal Cooler, he he will be fine, right? As long as he doesn't get tagged by Mecha Frieza Super Attack, we, we should be okay. Um, I did build uh, Metal Cooler uh, defensively, right? Um, as in, I gave him full dodge. I know. You know, a lot of people, they always cry about these full dodge builds, but it works, right? Like, I took uh, Metal Cooler into the Cell Max fight. You know, Cell Max was going to super Metal Cooler, and oh, I dodged it. Uh, GG. Yeah, tough Cell Max. Eat it, right? Like, you know, it, it, dodge is, is viable. Um, Metal Cooler can get to pretty solid uh, offense and defensive stats, especially if he's just like a complementary piece, like alongside, you know, Final Form Cooler or LR Gen Ember or something like that. So, yeah, here we go. Yep, yep. We can see Final Form Cooler is sealed. Huge uh, annoyance right here. So, the way this, this phase works, right? King Cold will seal one character every single turn. So, it's probably in your best interest to go for him first. Uh, looks like 
his damage and Mecha Frieza's damage is very, very similar, right? Um, they are doing almost identical super attack damage. What's crazy is that it's in the 700,000 range. It's That's just so bizarre. The first phase of the Final Form Cooler fight is hitting harder than this phase right here. It's just like you can't... It's unexplainable, right? Like, I guess it's it's fine that, you know, this red, you know, this red zone, the Frieza and Cooler fights started out way hard, and then I guess the middle fights are the ones that are not really as tough, um, or at least this one right here, um, and then it'll probably spike back up in difficulty um, once we get to the end. Again, I, I would expect Golden Frieza uh, is definitely going to have a red zone stage in here. Um, so a lot of the characters we're using, it should be fairly obvious why we're using a lot of these characters. I decided to use Janemba's Rage right here, even though it was good that Final Form Cooler was not um, sealed. I did not want all those attacks by Mecha Freeze at the end on Metal Cooler, because I want to float Metal Cooler off. LR Janemba, of course, I mean, you guys know, I've been talking about how good LR Janemba is. Finally, now with Final Form Cooler, Janemba can really be that good. Um, we have his Rage Mode right here. Uh, we actually get pretty unfortunate luck on this turn. Not, we don't really get crits. Remember that Janemba's Rage Mode? He has the same super attack mechanic as LR UI and LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, which means he has a 50% chance to crit with each super attack. And then if, like, the Janemba in the slot would additional super, um, it would be a guaranteed crit on the additional super attack, right, with this LR Janemba. So that is something to definitely keep in mind, but... I did the rage mode to reset the turn, right? Because I wanted um, Mecha Frieza to not be attacking the end slot where I was going to be putting Metal Cooler. Then the turn comes back around, and exactly the way I wanted it happened, right? Where now Mecha Frieza is not attacking the end, but now Final Form Cooler is is, is sealed again. So with two turns having gone by, and both turns, Final Form Cooler is the one who actually got sealed. So this, it, like. My team is built with Final Form Cooler doing all the damage, which which works successfully. But if, if like, you know, we have something like this where King Cold is just going to keep, you know, Cooler locked down, it's very unfortunate. Um, now, remember, we did not have any opportunities to build up uh, LR Janemba in slot two or three. So this is kind of him at his bare minimum. But, I mean, he's still able to do quite good. He's already nullified, right, a couple of Key Blast super attacks. Um, both Mecha Frieza, King Cold... Um, and I believe the Frieza Soldier in the first fight, they all do Key Blast Super Attacks, right? So, with them all doing Key Blast Supers, that makes LR Janemba even more sort of impressive, right? Um, I believe the Metal Cooler fight, he does a Key Blast Super Attack as well. So, it just really becomes pretty good. LR Janemba, Key Blast Nullification is really what we're looking for. They've released quite a few characters who have melee nullification, which is just like... It's so pointless, right? Kid Buu, Fusion Zamasu, LR Tech Gogeta. You know, these melee nullifications are worthless. Um, Key Blast nullifications, though, are, are very effective because it's just so often that they give these bosses, like, these, like, 2016 and 2017 sort of, like, animations, right? It's very, very common. All right, so finally we get to this turn. Uh, we'll be able to finish King Cold off right here. Remember, this is not Final Form Cooler at, like, sort of, like, super god-level power. Because, remember, that Golden Frieza, unfortunately, does not have Cooler's best links. Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis. All three, Golden Frieza does not have any of those three, right? Those are, of course, the big links for Cooler, right? That give him huge attack and also huge amounts of defense. So... Um, again, very unfortunate that we're not going to be able to get those. Otherwise, Cooler, you know, his attack and defensive stats, they would have been even much higher. But there we go. Right, like, once we get uh, King Cold taken out, like, that's pretty much the fight sort of wrapped up. Again, th th this fight is really not that tough. Um, with uh, both King Cold and Frieza only sort of super attack, like, their damage, only in, like, the 700,000 range, right? Like... I just, you know, Broly does 1.2 million, you know, Omega's at basically 1.5 million, and these guys, like, they're doing half of that, Mecha Freeze and King Cold, so, um, does seem like maybe, you know, again, this sort of level of the red zone, perhaps they're, they're taking a step back, I mean, it's a little early to say, but, you know, um, and then I guess, talking about any other characters on the team, it should be fairly obvious why they're all here, right, um, how LR Janemba can be super effective, 
Fat Janemba can be pretty good. The only thing with Fat Janemba, he would really be so much better. I, I think the easiest way Fat Janemba gets dramatically improved would be like if LR Carnival Metal Cooler is like a orb, like an orb changer, a rainbow orb changer. That would help Fat Janemba out so much because it's like Fat Janemba. He almost sort of resembles, I feel like, some of those like easy ATURs at this point, right? Where it's like Fat Janemba is a huge like roulette, right? Like just simply based off of the orbs in front of you, Fat Janemba is either complete ass or he's a god. Right, like if you get his support and his damage reduction up combined with his guard, he's a ridiculous character. But it they just made his orb restriction so tough. I will never understand why Pycon needed one rainbow orb and three type orbs. And then Fat Janemba needed two rainbow orbs and four type orbs. It just doesn't make sense to me why Fat Janemba um, needs so much more than Pycon. Um, you know, I mean, Pi uh, Fat Janemba getting, you know, the damage reduction and the support, you know, sure, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it seems very bizarre. Um, but there we go. This is the last turn right here. Uh, Mecha Freezer just gets completely cooked by the coolers. So there we go. Um, I wanted to do the first no item here with, you know, a different team besides, like, you know, just busting out, like, the Vegeta and Trunks team, which can just, like, pretty much effortlessly no item every single stage in the game. Even sell max right it's definitely not that hard to know item with the vegeta and trunks team which just is so crazy right all, all the best characters in the game pretty much are on that vegeta and trunks team absolutely ridiculous um i'm probably still gonna go through um so we have you know so far we have two 200 teams that have dropped during this celebration coolers and um the revive carnival goku I probably will do the, the series I usually do where I rainbow all the red zone stages. I'm probably going to do that all four teams, right? Including the upcoming Goku and Vegeta and Carnival Metal Cooler Goku. I'm probably going to do the, this for all four teams sweeping um, all three of the red zones. Probably. So, you know, we will see. But here we go. Here was uh, Mecha, Frieza, and King Cold. Uh, no items. Uh, really a, a, a very simple stage. I mean... If I did a power ranking of red zone stages, this is so far down, right? Like, Super 17 is way harder than this. Like, so many fights are so much tougher than this one. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.